Well, it's been kind of a rough start to the season. We have had um, no rain in June and really, really hot weather. So we just wanted to make sure and say don't be discouraged. Um, now that we've had a little bit of rain and the temperatures have cooled off, it's a really good time to go out and assess your garden, see how things are doing. And it's not too late to put some new things in. So um, just don't get discouraged. Uh, so a few of the things that it's still totally fine at the end of June to get planted in the ground um, include really fast growing things like lettuce and spinach, um, peas, you know, some of them don't like the heat so much, but you might as well give them a try. Um, other things are root crops, so beets, radishes, turnips, they're all really fast growing crops and they should be just fine to put in now. Um, we've got a couple interesting varieties here. so. Um, We've got okra, which is another one um, that is pretty short, so we're going to give it a try, plant them here. And then there's a few different kinds of herbs, so cilantro or dill or any sort of fast-growing annual, you can still seed that. So we're also going to be planting a little bit of dill here. And the okra is a bigger plant, so it wants to be um, spaced apart by about six inches. So we're going to plant our okra here, about six inches apart and about half an inch deep and I'm just going to put two seeds in here so that I know uh, I can thin them out if both germinate and if not I know that I do have at least one okra. Make sure to mark this out so we know where it's planted. And with the dill this is something that doesn't really need to be planted in a row which we've been typically doing with a lot of our crops. So I'm just going to take these seeds and I'm going to mark out um, a little space for them and I'm just going to broadcast so. So I'm just going to kind of sprinkle them around here and then we'll keep them watered and once they come up we will just kind of weed around them. There's a few other things that could still be planted this time of year. Um, if you look at the days to maturity, that will give you a really good idea of what can still go in the ground. Um, it's not even July yet, so we still have, you know, maybe almost 90 days. Um, but so anything that's in the, you know, 60, 70 day range should be totally fine to put in, which includes a lot of things. So we're also going to plant some zucchini. Uh, we're going to do the same as with the okra. We're going to put a few seeds and then mark that spot. And you can also put in carrots, beans. There's, there's a lot of things you can still plant. Um, and I'm just going to note that because we had the dry weather and then we had a little bit of rain, any seeds that are already in the ground or seeds that you're putting in now, you really should keep them watered so that they have a chance to germinate and start growing. Just to make sure for all of our viewers out there, um, the days that we're referring to is days until our expected first frost date. So we're looking at, you know, maybe close to three months or close to about 90 days of frost-free weather, which should be perfect conditions for growing your plants.